All right, so today I'm going to show how to set up a water line, a steel pipe in a fitting, and how I'm going to seal it. I use two methods when I'm doing this. I like to use pipe dope, and I also like to use some Teflon tape. Doesn't matter if it's this gray stuff, if it's the white stuff, it all works the same. The white stuff is easier to get on, the gray stuff's a lot thicker. But once you get either one caught, it just goes. I wish I had some three quarter left. I only have half inch tape right now, but it all works. So let's go over how to put Teflon tape on. First, you wanna make sure all your threads, after threading it or whatever, are clean like this. It's nice and clean, it's all metal. No foreign objects are in here, so we'll start with the tape. Now what I gotta do is I gotta wrap this clockwise. So I like to pull a piece out, let's flip the roll. So this way it's coming out on the bottom. Unfortunately, this roll is very beat up, but let's put it here. I'm not gonna go at the very beginning. Just get it started. Okay, so now I gotta start going around. Once you overlap it, holding it is not as important. And then you use your finger in the hole and just roll it around. Maybe one more pass. I wanna go close to the beginning, but I don't go over my first thread. And then I bring it back towards the back of it and rip. Boom, sorry I hit you guys. Okay, so then I take my fingers and I squish it inward a little bit more. This actually helps the pipe tighten more onto it to seal up. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So there we go. Now let's just get this going. We gotta come around. See that's where it's a little, the white stuff just bites right in. I mean, how much longer does it really take to use the gray stuff over the white stuff, the blue stuff, or any of that other, oh, it just ripped. Happens. I'll give it a little bit more. Like I said, but this, look, I mean, look, it's all beat up, this roll, so. Okay, we're going to go around once. We come around there. We come around here. All right. I almost feel like if I'm going to use this roll anymore. I like to do a couple passes because it ripped. I want probably a few more than I was going to. Unfortunately for this, this is just getting in my way too much. So I have a feeling that this roll is going to be very hard to use now. I'm just going to put it on the side. But that's all I need to do is these are my last two connections. So I just squish it in. This way threads are showing. So after I've taped up both my sides, I like to get some pipe dope on it. You don't have to pipe dope it, but I feel that I have zero leaks when I do both. So I like it better. I mean, I've had no, I have almost no leaks all the time anyway, but once in a while you'll get a leak, but I've gotten leaks when I've used just pipe dope, just Teflon, almost never when I've used uh, pipe dope and Teflon, unless I back the fitting out, never go backwards. Once you start, just keep going forward. Like I started this side, I'm gonna put this fitting on get it going okay so that's gonna be as far as I'm gonna be able to get this to go by hand now the other side let's get some dope on everybody's got their way of doing it you don't need to dope the inside just a little on the outside and you don't goober it up where your dope is like dripping off or anything like that just a very light brushing because all the dope is doing, like literally, you're lubricating your pipe as you're going in. But it's also compacting to help create that seal. So now we got to get this up into here. 
movie. So now we're gonna pop the pipe on. Sometimes you can't get the catch, you go backwards, you still get it to catch. But there we go. Okay, let's continue. Gotta be careful with this, not go over tight, and I'm gonna have to hold back in a second. But right now we're moving in nice. The resistance has not kicked in yet. Stay in this fitting. More. I can probably make many more than this, but this will be my last one. Because the famous last one will always screw you up. Just a little more for now. Let's see. Okay. That angle looks pretty good at the bottom. So now I just gotta reconnect to the boiler because this I just had to fix something on it real fast. And I made a little change. Let's see what I can do with what's left on this roll. Even though the white, eh, I don't even want to use that. This white stuff's fine right here. All right, so here we go. We're going to wrap this up, some Teflon, so I can put all this back on. So I'm just going to hold finger inside and roll with your pipe. Once you overlap, it'll hold itself. Come back, back towards the top. I don't really ever overlap on the first thread. I may hit the thread, but and I like to finish further away, like that. Now, I have the same success with this white stuff as I do with that thicker gray stuff. But I also do the same thing. A little extra protection. Remember, for me, Preventing a callback or a leak on a job and an upset customer or whatever, even though usually they're never upset because I fix it right away if I have any problems. I like to address any issues, but then it costs me money. Why do I want to cost me money? Why not just take an extra second or two, a couple extra dollars of material for a job, but it's a leak-free job. Now, this is important, and if my fitting here didn't line up correctly... I'm gonna be screwed, but I also didn't tighten it enough on purpose. And I see already that I need to tighten it just a little more. I'm gonna leave this right here. But if I actually, I'll do it. I'll go around. It's okay. It didn't bite good enough, but here we go. Catch, 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 catch. Don't catch at the end. Don't catch at the end. It's going to catch at the end, so I should twist him. But I always like to draw in. Let's see, right now he's too big here. But I can also tell his angle is too much on that. So, to even get started there, I'm not going to. I'm going to move him just a little. Very little. Okay, 
hopefully now I can get this guy started. He is top heavy. There we go. Oh, just about it. I hate having to start things. There we go. Now, man, the catching thread was unfortunately right at the beginning. There we go. Around, but this is going to line up perfectly when I'm done. <laughs> the amount of strength I'm putting into this, but I'm gonna have to get it just to come up. Whew. So now let's see. Yeah, I'm going once more around. All I can hope is that I'm not screwing myself right now as I do this. The one last turn. And I'm just kind of pushing down here. So I'm not pushing anywhere on that fitting. Let's see, do I have to turn it a little? I might have to. I'm gonna be off just a little. There you go. And it's in. It's actually going straight. Yep. I thought I was gonna have to not nah, on. Perfect. Now we gotta leak test it. Make sure it's tight. Fill with water, if water starts coming out of that. I know I have a leak then. I doubt water is going to come out of that. So. Let me just quickly throw a little dope on it, I mean, Teflon on here. This one I'm only going to Teflon. Actually, a little dibble dabble. A little dibble dabble always do. See, even when I want to just use Teflon, part of me just reaches for this. It's not like I put a lot on. It just helps. Nothing on the inside of your system. And then I'm just going to spin this on right here. One handed is always not the easiest, but I need to get a wrench on there because I'm not going to put too much pressure on the head of this gauge or else I will damage it. And I don't want to damage it. So I just got to keep tightening. Let's see. One more turn. This is going to screw me. <laughs> Especially with something like a gauge, you have to make sure you're level. Okay, right about here. <laughs> right there is good. Close enough. Alright, let's see if I have any leaks or not. So let's turn the water feed on. We're filling our boiler. The air should start popping out of the spiral vent. So, we're filling, we're not spilling out of anything just yet, we're starting to get pressure, I stop feeding pressure, stick with my air vent, 
So that's going to let out a lot of air. Not that my pressure is going to go almost to zero. So let's add more. All right. We want to get rid of all the air, so if anything here is going to leak, I'll see it now. Okay, we're almost full. Um, over 10 pounds of pressure. Turn off. How much air do we have? Let's see. How well will it take my pressure? Hmm. I think it may take it almost to zero, so let's keep adding. We want that air gun anyway. All right, now we're full. What I'm gonna do real fast. Just wipe down my fittings. But they're nice and clean. Anything I just did, wipe it to most of it off. Most of that dope is gone. done bleeding all right and there you go that's how to create leak free seals nothing is leaking so my union not even my union so so if you gotta thread any pipe and seal up any hydronic pipes, right here, Teflon it and dope it, you'll never have leaks. I mean, hey, even dope alone doesn't leak. These are old fittings that haven't leaked at all. This has Teflon on it. This one I can't, has Teflon on it. But I mean, a lot of them are just dope or dope and Teflon. Doesn't matter, but if you wanna be a guaranteed no leak, do them both. It's just a safety precaution. This is my boiler, so I can always do just dope and just Teflon and play around here and there. But the Teflon and dope, uh, I do on almost every professional job I'm doing. Sometimes I don't, but usually I do. Sometimes I may just do the Teflon, sometimes I may just do the dope, but usually I feel most confident in my work when they're both there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Bill, and until next time, how to seal up some hydronic water lines.